Let's go, Josh and Bob. I'll be me back. See, you feel the need to talk as soon as I was about to talk and do my intro? Salvador had a Uh, what episode is this? Eight, I think. So we we about to go see our our brother for the first time. And who knows how long? Let's see where we gotta go. Containment. It's probably somewhere different on the elevator, so let's go find out. The containment sector, let's go. Last episode, they was throwing people at us left and right. As I was about to edit to where we'll talk to the marshal, but I felt the need to throw a thousand people my way. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, we back. I'm about to go ahead and get get right into this and try to find our brother Dylan who at the end of that cutscene looked bald. He must have did something to that man. Containment sector. That scared the Panopticon. fuck out of me. Panopticon? So that's how you say that. Maximum security prison. Can you get off my screen, sir? Ooh. They're already throwing them things at us. Why are they moving like that already? I didn't even shoot that time. It's just that I couldn't hold it for that long. Oh. Another one. or more? Golly, they just sent the whole the whole unit my way. Some more documents. So, apparently we need to find the holding cell. Panopticon. And that looks like the correct way to go if I, uh, I'm truly not mistaken. But right, let's go in here and uh, see. They got some stuff in here for me to grab. Usually, I'll do so. Probably do some upgrades at the end of this episode. Seeing some steps up here. I don't know if this is anything. Okay, just more stuff. I'm not trying to hear that because this headset loud as hell. So, well, onward to uh, some more of them goons. Just chilling. I gotta cleanse this spot, anywho.
I right, say so he gotta be dead after that. Wow, I really just missed all of those. Did I get? Oh, I did get both of those little, uh, the flying. All right, bet. Yeah, this is a nice little spot. Pretty beautiful. Alrighty then. This looks like a goddamn more. Something about to get like a, a spaceship finna get launched off. What? Oh. For what? Like, I, I didn't even fully walk into that room and they just started spawning people. Whoa. Hey, look, Kansas, the green light. It means it looks like we wanted the safe spots. You'd love to see it. Okay, so there's a lot of doors that I am, uh, a lot of green doors we can walk into and obviously the way to go is obviously this way so we're just gonna keep going with the same mission instead of lollygagging around the medical wing all right buddy. interesting try to clarify the medical wing for me They just, how they just gonna spawn a dude, an explosive motherfucker, right there on my beam like that? <sighs> you really didn't even have to do it. How was I supposed to prepare for that? That's crazy. was a fair engagement what was it down on the d-pad all right yeah bro they just gonna spawn a, uh, an explosive motherfucker on my neck bro yeah that was fair So now the explosive motherfucker don't want to show up. Very interesting. It's very interesting how they just did me like that.
What? It just sounded like some shit was growling. What the hell are y'all? Mold hosts. Whose little ass mold kids are these, bro? And why are they walking like this? That bullshit. I'm trying to I'm about to say. What was that? A flower? Would you have a flower power or something? That's what he looked like. So is that shit in there killing me? Music is still rolling, so I'm... Interesting. Music, music in this game is very selective. It's very weird. Sounds like go upstairs, I guess. This one had a yellow top. Oh, that motherfucker made that motherfucker. It was extra special. Motherfucker said, huh? Right. Yeah, I mean, guess we'll just go upstairs. Fuck it. It was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research what the and fuck? investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. 
So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Uh, all right. That boy got. What do you got? Presentations for everything. Whoa. Okay. So some more documents. Obviously don't have a key card for anything. Where are we? Okay, so we just need to keep going straight then. Alright. what the bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Interesting. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? I hope so. Uh... Here we go again. Okay. Well, I hate that you're going. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, so this one's normal. How come there ain't nobody at the desk to come? Did anything open? Oh. It's a pretty neat, pretty neat light. Uh, okay. Ain't gonna lie, this this hotel is bad. Oh, it's fine now. Got my key. I'm out of here. Ain't about to ask no questions about what happened to dude in that room. Alrighty then. Across the it's been a long time since of Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here. They were even harder. Watch your... Who the fuck is this? You good? Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello. I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art well, repository look upset. for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power <laughs> and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. The Salvador what? took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. 
Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, hmm. I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. So, due to Benokov TV object of power. There are cell breaches on every level. These his things are a bad influence on my collection. Okay, so that's open now. Ain't nothing dramatic happened this episode. But I'm trying to keep my walk through episodes 20, maybe 30 minutes, unless some real deep shit happens. It's probably going to be like 40 minutes, but. I don't want to run too long. Hey. Performance review. Hey. I have a cat to feed. Nobody cares about your cat or your pay stubs, man. Shut up. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye. How you doing? Fantastic. Fantastic. I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a better week. Mm, I hope your month is full of successful days and a lot of great ventures. I hope you just come up, brother. I hope your whole fucking year is spectacular. Oh, you hope my year is spectacular. Yeah. You got something you want to say to me? You got something you want to say? 